Hey what's up guys so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a niche based mandala design inside affinity designer now what do I mean by niche based it actually means that this mandala is not going to include some kind of abstract art abstract lines now they do look good abstract design mandalas but for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to create something based on a topic based on a niche based on certain idea of our design so based on a certain idea of a theme so if you are interested in that let's get started so here i am inside affinity designer and i'm going to go to the file new and create a document you can use any documents units i usually work in points so it can be either square or rectangle it doesn't matter uh, but mostly the mandala is going to be a square circular type of shape so it's better if you use the square type of document and we're going to use 300 dpi and then that and click create okay now that our document is created we are going to start by creating a star shape so in this tool uh, shapes tool below this uh, below actually above this a and below these shapes you are going to use uh, have different kind of shapes may be available by default it might be different but for the purpose of this video i'm going to create a star tool and we are going to just create a, a random star here by pressing the shift key it is going to actually uh, make it perfect uh, in proportions and uh, just we'll, we'll just release it after that we're going to go to the move tool and you know make sure that it is aligned at the center and we can just press you know use the align tool to help it make it at the center let's just uh, you know scale it up a little bit okay now that we have created our star shape we need to change something here we are going to you know delete any kind of fill for the stroke we are going to use maybe one point stroke or two points so let's make it one point stroke all right now we are going to change the points but before we change the points we are going to change the inner radius so i'm just going to decrease it to zero and outer radius is also zero and everything else is okay and let's just increase the points now you can use any points between six and you know as i think the more the last number here is 48 but anyway you got the idea you can uh, do it and let's uh, not make it too much and let's just uh, you know uh, keep it uh, a little bit wide so that we have room to draw something so i think this 14 looks good as well and maybe 16 i i think that looks fine i think it's not aligned anymore because we have not changed the points now let's go to align tool and then align it again okay now that looks fine now and uh, let's just lock this layer okay and now it's time to create those uh, incorporate different kind of design elements in this our uh, in this our mandala shape now this uh, star shape this is going to serve as as a guide this is not going to be included in the final design now before i go and start putting different design elements here we need to make sure that each and every design element that i put here is automatically repeated on all of the other sides of these guidelines so for that purpose uh, i'm going to just create a shape a rectangle shape square shape it doesn't matter and because it's again this is going to have you know kind of like uh, um, help us in the form of a guide here so i'm just going to align it here and i make sure that uh, your uh, align uh, objects are actually this enable snapping is actually checked and i think we need to maybe so next snap to check boundaries and um, anything i think i would need to uh, if we need to check it uh, we'll check it again i think we need to unhide it unlock this one so that it snaps to the boundary here and yeah it snaps here that looks fine we have our rectangle tool or our more like a square shape and uh, let's just uh, delete its um, stroke color we do not want any kind of stroke but for fill color uh, we can use a gradient for the for now and you know just to make sure that we know what we are doing so i'm going to make it more uh, you know uh, something like uh, which can be easily seen so i'm going to change this one to maybe yellowish 
it doesn't matter really because we are going to hide it in the end actually not in the end but in the next few steps so now that we have our uh, square or rectangle shape ready we are going to go to this symbols tab if that tab is not visible you can go to the view studio and make sure that this symbols tab is actually checked and we are going to create a new symbol okay once our symbol is created we can just uh, copy it and uh, control v by pressing control v we are going to copy and paste it or you can simply press control j and it will simply uh, you know copy the layer and if you press control j make sure that you have already selected an object in this layers panel otherwise it will not you know just copy it and we need to just flip it horizontally and bring it on the other side as soon as it snaps we are going to leave it and then we are going to group them together these two symbols we are going to press ctrl g and now it's grouped let's just zoom out a bit and now what we want is that copy these symbols on all of our sides so for that purpose we need to first change the center point here at the top if you have this move tool selected at the top you will see that there is an option called enable transform origin so if i click it you will see that there is a small circular shape appeared here at the center of our group object we do not want it to be at this place instead we want it to be at the center of our star shape for that purpose we are just going to drag it and as soon as it snaps at the center we see our guidelines highlighted and we are going to leave it now now what we need is that uh, our you can say that this uh, object or this group to be rotated around uh, our uh, these guidelines so for that purpose i'm going to press ctrl j and then start rotating now by default it should snap at this uh, these a uh, spokes but somehow if it doesn't ask back sometime it happens if it does not snap at this point what you can do is that let's just undo it and uh, what you can do here at this point is that you need to go to the star shape and check how many points you have so i have 16 points so the whole circular shape we have uh, actually 360 degrees in a circular shape so we can divide 360 by 16 and find out what is the distance between each and every these lines so let me just bring out a calculator so we have 360 degrees in the circle let's divide it by the number of lines or the spikes we have for our star that is 16 and it is going to give us the result that is 22.5 so what you can do is that let's just I mean, let me just delete it so what you can do is that just press ctrl j of the original layer and then in the transform panel make sure that in the rotation you have this checked as 22.5 because as soon as it you click it it's uh, rotated and it's perfect align on this side now it is on the other side that's still okay because it's still on the, our guideline now you are you don't have to press it again and again what you need to do is just press ctrl j and it will automatically make a copy of it at the perfect distance that we require it to be okay now we have all of our copies here at our uh, you can say that guidelines we need to you know now we can actually add more elements to it and the reason we use this symbol is because let me show you just for example let so inside you can use any of the group here it doesn't matter but um, uh, I for the purpose of this video I'm going to uh, select the base group the first one because at this at this point here is at the top and it will help me to show you what I am doing so I'm going to go into the symbol layer you know if by default it will be in this form you can press this small rectangle actually triangle and then in the in, within this symbol you will see a shape object as we have our rectangle shape so what does this symbol do is that it copies our um, object whatever we draw inside our beneath this symbol layer whatever we draw it actually copies it and and copies it everywhere wherever that symbol is present let me show you what i mean so if i just zoom in a little bit and maybe start by using a circular shape and maybe change its uh, color to maybe this bluish we already have selected this uh, rectangle shape but anyway if we just do not select any of the layer and um, let me just draw this circle inside our 
rectangle inside our symbol above the rectangle so you can see whenever I'm going to draw it and as I'm going to move it it actually creates a copy of it and moves it all, all, all around and each and every uh, symbol object so let's just delete this one we do not need, need to delete this rectangle we simply need to hide it and what I'm going to do now is to incorporate certain elements or niche based animals topic or theme based element inside our mandala now these are the unicorn based elements which I have already drawn previously on this channel in a previous video and uh, I'm going to use these symbol for our mandala shape to create a niche based design so let me just select this one and press ctrl c and copy it and then inside make sure that you are in you have selected this rectangle shape you are inside a symbol if you have not selected it it will not copy it so i'm just going to press ctrl v and it has already copied now before i scale it down make sure that in the appearance panel in that this point tab or in that this uh, in this stroke panel make sure that you have this option check that is scale with objects it will if you have any you can say outlines or strokes of any of your shapes it will help you to keep them as it it will not increase with scaling it down so that's very important so once now that i have checked i can just simply scale it down and uh, you know position it accordingly as i like again we need to scale it down a little bit and i think that looks fine yeah that looks fine now we have incorporated one of our element let me go and copy it another element uh, maybe this shape so i'm going to copy it and paste it here and as i've already not selected any of the uh, layer inside it we have pasted it at the wrong object if you do so you can simply delete it go back inside our symbol and press ctrl v and it will copy it again before scaling for each and every object you have to make sure that this option is checked scale with objects we are going to scale it down a bit and we are going to you know rotate it a bit and like that it totally depends upon your shape what kind of shape you have and i think this looks fine maybe scale it down a bit more i think that looks fine we create a little bit distance here because we're going to create more elements here and let's incorporate maybe a few more elements maybe this star shape and uh, paste it again here and uh, let me just scale it down and before i scale it down i need to i think need to uh, check that option again now we're going to scale it down a little bit and as you can see that it creates two copies in each and every area so we need to scale it down and make sure we have at us some kind of specific distance so they did not overlap and if you want them overlap that's okay too it's totally upon your likeness how you want them to be so now uh, these three elements let me copy another element maybe this one would look fine i think let me just copy it and then paste it again and uh, this one i want uh, to move a little bit higher i think i think here there it is so i'm going to again uh, make sure that i have this scale with objects option checked now of course this is hectic to you know check that option again and again but uh, i think that's fine uh, we can you know just keep doing it yeah that looks fine i think uh, i'll leave it here and then incorporate some random elements uh, we can still copy more elements here but i think uh, for the purpose of this video it will be too long uh, let's start by creating some random design elements here now we can definitely uh, use any kind of tool any kind of shape here any kind of object pre-made shapes that's totally fine you can also incorporate text that is also fine uh, but for the purpose of this video let me go to this pencil tool and start drawing by anything now i'm going to use uh, two points uh, of width for the stroke um, because each and every element that i have already done was in two points i think and let me just uh, create some random objects i can start from anywhere uh, maybe just uh, st i'll start from this point in this and i think it looks too thick 
maybe I need to um, decrease it 1.5 would look fine yeah that looks fine and uh, now it's just upon you how you want the mandala to be let me just you know start by using random shapes here and uh, as you can see that our shapes are actually rotated uh, copied and pasted uh, on all of the guides that we have already created now if you mess it up you can simply use this node tool and make sure that it snaps to the object and it is actually closed now this is uh, this is kind of a cleaning process you can do it at the end and because it might get uh, you know hectic so yeah this is looking fine as you can see that our mandala is looking good and before I move forward let me just use a background color so I'm going to go to the document setup and instead of transparent background I think in this color option we have the white background now so that we can easily see it let me we can use the pencil tool again and we have to go inside our uh, this shape in our symbols and we can start creating the rest of the design element let me just finish up uh, with the rest of the design and I'll show you the result at the end So as you can see our mandala is ready and it is looking beautiful we can hide our star shape the guidelines and uh, see how our design looks now these designs are going to help you create some kind of coloring books and uh, it's also going to help you create a niche based t-shirt design and topic based theme based designs for your merch by amazon and redbubble or any other print on demand platform and uh, you are not limited to these simple black and white designs you can use uh, colored objects and color design as well now this kind of mandala design will look unique and will bring more customers towards your products now if you are interested in similar design tutorials you can subscribe to this channel and if you found this video to be helpful you can like the video to help me with the youtube algorithm and hopefully i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching